Mary, small earthquakes happen all the time in Washington, but this morning hundreds of small earthquakes were detected under Mount Rainier. And while this is no reason to raise alarm bells, seismologists say this is something they're closely monitoring. Mount Rainier has always loomed large, literally and figuratively, over Washington State. Towering above the Cascade Range, it's a picture of frozen beauty and hidden danger. For years, experts warned that this sleeping giant could awaken without much warning. Now it appears that moment may have arrived. The USGS has issued a red alert following a mysterious and rapid surge in earthquake activity beneath the mountain. It's not just geologists who are alarmed. Emergency teams, local officials, and families living in the danger zone are now on edge. Mount Rainier is stirring, and what happens next could alter the Pacific Northwest forever. It began subtly, barely perceptible vibrations beneath the ground. Seismographs started picking up on microquakes that at first seemed insignificant. But within days, those minor tremors evolved into a pattern of concern. Over 180 localized quakes were recorded in just 72 hours, primarily clustered beneath the northwestern flank of Mount Rainier. These weren't deep tremors associated with tectonic movement. They were shallow, pulsing, and persistent, classic signs of magma migration. By the time the count reached triple digits, the USGS elevated the alert level to red, its most severe classification. This is not a decision made lightly. Red alerts are rare, reserved only for scenarios when eruption is imminent or already underway. The last time Mount Rainier exhibited this level of activity, we lack the technology to fully grasp the implications. Now, with advanced satellite imaging, real-time GPS tracking, and sophisticated gas sensors, experts are seeing troubling signs. Elevated sulfur dioxide emissions, ground swelling, increased steam venting, and harmonic tremors. Each of these indicators, on their own, would be a cause for concern. Together, they form a picture that has volcanologists warning of a serious eruption risk. Even more alarming is Rainier's unique structure. It's not just a mountain, but a massive, glacier-capped volcano. That means the eruption won't just involve ash and lava. It could trigger deadly mud flows, floods, and cascading disasters. The time to watch and wait is over. The mountain is speaking. To the untrained eye, an earthquake is just a jolt, a sudden shake. But to seismologists, it's data with a voice. And right now, Mount Rainier is shouting. The pattern of recent tremors has revealed something far more complex than tectonic shifting. Instead of the typical deep focus quakes associated with plate boundaries, Rainier's tremors are occurring just one to three kilometers below the surface. Their rhythmic nature, known as harmonic tremors, is often linked to magma forcing its way through subterranean rock. In addition to seismic data, scientists are analyzing deformation readings. GPS stations around Rainier have detected subtle bulging of the surface, particularly near the summit and northeast slope. This inflation suggests that magma is pooling beneath the surface, creating pressure that could result in a breakout. Ground temperature sensors have also recorded above-average readings, especially near geothermal vents, while infrared satellite scans show a steady increase in thermal output. Perhaps most troubling are the volcanic gas emissions. Elevated levels of sulfur dioxide, SO2, carbon dioxide, CO2, and hydrogen sulfide, H2S, have been measured at multiple fumaroles. These gases typically rise when magma approaches the surface, escaping through cracks and vents as the pressure mounts. It's a chemical signal, like smoke before a fire. Together, these factors suggest that Mount Rainier's magma chamber is recharging and fast. The scientific community is unified in its concern. While precise eruption timing remains uncertain, the convergence of geophysical, geochemical, and thermal data points to a volatile system nearing a tipping point. For seismologists, the question isn't just, is Rainier waking up? It's how much longer do we have before it erupts? When most people think of volcanoes, they imagine fiery lava and thick ash. But at Mount Rainier, the most terrifying hazard comes from something colder, ice. Draped in over 25 major glaciers, Rainier holds more glacial ice than any other U.S. peak outside of Alaska. And that ice can become a weapon. When volcanic heat melts it suddenly, it forms lahars, fast-moving mudflows that can travel over 60 miles per hour and flatten everything in their path. 
Lahars don't stop at the base of the mountain. They race down river valleys, picking up debris, rocks, trees, and anything else in the way. Towns like Ortain and Puyallup lie directly in known Lahar pathways. In past eruptions, these flows buried entire forests under cement-like sludge. The recent surge in seismic activity and increased heat beneath Rainier's glaciers are deeply worrying. Experts fear that even without a full eruption, intense subsurface heating could destabilize the ice and trigger lahars. Emergency agencies are already reviewing evacuation plans for river valley communities. This isn't just a volcanic threat, it's a hydrological time bomb, and if magma reaches the surface, Rainier's frozen armor could become its deadliest weapon. An eruption at Mount Rainier would do more than reshape the mountain. It would send shockwaves through every layer of life in the Pacific Northwest. Ash clouds could ground flights at Seattle-Tacoma International Airport and choke the air across multiple states. Fine ash particles can damage engines, corrode metal, and contaminate water supplies. Power lines would falter, roads could become impassable. But it doesn't stop there. Lahars, pyroclastic flows, and floods could destroy entire towns in their path. Hospitals may be overwhelmed, emergency shelters overfilled, and local economies paralyzed. Agriculture would take a hit. As crops become buried or tainted, livestock endangered, and irrigation systems damaged. Beyond the physical damage is the psychological toll. Families forced to flee, unsure if they'll return to homes or rubble. Businesses shuttering, schools closing. The rhythm of daily life interrupted by a disaster that strikes with little notice and unfolds in chaos. Rainier isn't just a beautiful backdrop, it's a high-risk volcano. And if it blows, the entire Pacific Northwest will feel the impact, not for days, but for years. For years, towns near Mount Rainier have lived in cautious admiration of the peak that dominates their skyline. But now, admiration is turning to anxiety. With the red alert in effect, places like Ortin, Sumner, and Pialup are activating emergency protocols. Sirens are being tested. School evacuation routes are being practiced. City councils are coordinating with FEMA. Families are stocking emergency kits. Some are making evacuation plans for the first time. Others, who've lived in Lahar zones for generations, are pulling out old preparedness manuals and hoping they never need them. The unease is spreading, not just through official channels, but emotionally. Conversations at grocery stores, chatter at school pickup, neighbors checking in more than usual. Local authorities are trying to strike a balance between readiness and calm, but as seismic activity increases, maintaining composure is becoming harder. Rainier's behavior is no longer abstract. It's real, it's current, and it's right underfoot. For the communities living in its shadow, the question isn't whether Rainier will erupt, it's when. And until that answer comes, every rumble is a warning, every plume a signal. The threat has moved from hypothetical to immediate. Inside a secure facility equipped with blinking monitors and flickering seismic readouts, USGS scientists are now in full crisis mode. Dozens of volcanologists, geophysicists, and remote sensing specialists are analyzing every tremor, every plume, and every inch of movement around Mount Rainier. Data pours in from ground sensors, drones, satellites, and gas spectrometers. The team monitors for harmonic tremors, changes in deformation, and spikes in volcanic gases. One screen shows deformation models, another displays 3D satellite heat maps. The smallest uptick in temperature, the tiniest uptick in sulfur emissions, could signal that magma is about to break through. But this isn't just academic. These scientists are now a critical part of emergency response coordination. Their updates inform FEMA, local governments, and first responders. And time is of the essence. Warning the public early could mean the difference between evacuation and disaster. This isn't just science. It's a race against nature. The threat posed by Mount Rainier extends far beyond lava and ash. Its eruption would ripple through nearly every sector of life in the Pacific Northwest. Economy, healthcare, infrastructure, and environment would all feel the impact. Rainier doesn't just tower over landscapes, it connects them. And if it blows, that network could unravel fast. First, there's the economy. Seattle, Tacoma, and surrounding cities are major hubs for shipping, tech, and trade. Ashfall from an eruption could ground flights at SeaTac, shutter ports, and paralyze ground transport. 
Roads like Interstate 5, a vital artery of commerce, may become impassable due to falling ash or lahar destruction. Just-in-time delivery models would crumble, supply chains would falter, the cost of delays alone could stretch into billions of dollars. Then comes healthcare. Volcanic ash isn't just dirty, it's dangerous. Inhalation of fine particles can trigger respiratory illnesses, especially in children, seniors, and those with asthma. Clinics and hospitals could be overrun within days. Emergency evacuations and shelter crowding would increase exposure to illness. Even mental health would suffer as panic, displacement, and trauma grip affected families. Environmentally, Rainier's eruption could be catastrophic. Rivers feeding from its glaciers could be blocked or redirected. Salmon habitats could vanish overnight. Forests could be flattened. The balance of entire ecosystems could be undone in hours. Air quality across multiple states might dip for weeks, even months. This isn't a single location disaster. It's a regional crisis with national implications. Rainier's reach could extend far beyond its base, bringing disruptions that touch millions. Its eruption would challenge our systems, our science, and our resilience. And while the mountain may be singular, its consequences would be anything but isolated. 8. Sacred and Scientific Indigenous Perspectives and the Deeper Meaning of Rainier's Stirring 300 Words Mount Rainier, or Tahoma as it is traditionally known, holds a sacred place in the spiritual and cultural lives of many indigenous communities of the Pacific Northwest. To the Nisqually, Muckleshoot, Puyallup, and other tribal nations, Tahoma is not simply a volcano, it is a living presence, a revered guardian, and an ancestor in the shape of stone. The current unrest beneath the mountain is not just a geological event, it's a message. While volcanologists monitor gas levels and seismic patterns, many tribal elders and leaders are urging a different kind of awareness, one rooted in respect and spiritual harmony. Ceremonies have been held at a distance, songs and prayers offered to the mountain spirit. This moment is not only about scientific preparedness, but also cultural connection. In indigenous teachings, when a being like Tahoma begins to stir, it signals imbalance between people and nature, growth and greed, listening and ignoring. The threat isn't limited to physical safety. Many sacred sites, including burial grounds, medicine gathering places, and ancestral paths, lie within areas vulnerable to lahars or ashfall. Losing these would mean losing history, memory, and identity. And for cultures already enduring centuries of displacement, such losses would cut deep. Tribal leaders are working alongside government agencies, offering insights, advocating for inclusion and response planning, and reminding all involved that this mountain cannot be treated as just a threat to manage. It must also be honored. In times of crisis, merging science with tradition offers a fuller picture. The red alert is not just about magma or mud flows, it's about remembering that the Earth speaks in many languages. And as Tahoma speaks now, we must listen not only with instruments, but with reverence, humility, and care. This is not just about what may erupt, it's about what we choose to protect. Mount Rainier is no longer just a backdrop to daily life, it's a rising threat casting a long shadow over the Pacific Northwest. With the red alert in place, what was once theory is now urgent reality. Scientists are watching every signal, Emergency teams are standing by, and communities are preparing for the worst. Whether it erupts tomorrow or settles down again, the mountain has reminded us all of nature's power and our responsibility to respect it. This is more than a geological event. It's a moment of reckoning for how we live with the forces beneath us. Stay alert. Stay ready. If you found this update helpful, like and subscribe for the latest. And tell us, what would you do if Rainier erupted today?